Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different methods to export the output of MIDI effects plugins into your tracks in Logic Pro. I'm going to use Harmony Bloom as an example, but you can use the same methods to get the output from any MIDI effects plugin. And skip to the chapters titled Method 1 and Method 2 if you already know how to use MIDI effects plugins and export their MIDI, but you are having problems with your notes being out of sync with your project in Logic Pro. Harmony Bloom is a unique sequencer plugin that uses geometry and time controls to create sequences of notes that can be locked to a selected musical scale. You can find links for the developer, Mario Nieto World, in the video description below. Maybe you already have Harmony Bloom or another cool MIDI effects sequencer plugin, but you don't know how to get the MIDI sequence out of it and into Logic Pro after you've found something you like. Or maybe you found the MIDI export feature in Harmony Bloom, but you're having problems with latency or other sync issues and it's driving you crazy. In any case, I've got you covered in this video. If you are new to Logic Pro and don't even know what the MIDI effects slot is for, don't skip this section. MIDI effects do not produce any sound on their own. Instead, they transform your MIDI before it reaches the audio stage. So the signal flow goes from the MIDI effects plugins, then to the instrument plugins, and then through any audio processing you may have before finally going to the audio output stage. In this example, I have some chords recorded into a MIDI region on this track. I have loaded Logic Pro's own arpeggiator into the MIDI effects slot here, and it's transforming my chords into an interesting melody. The more notes in the chord, the more complex the arpeggio. For the rest of this video, we will be inserting Harmony Bloom into the MIDI effects slot. Let's talk for a minute how to use these MIDI effects plugins. You can insert as many as you want, but just remember that the signal flows from the top to the bottom. For example, if you have more than one MIDI effects plugin loaded, the one above can affect the one below, and so on, until you get to the bottom of the chain. Here's an example. I have a sequencer plugin called Hexel, which is generating some notes for Diva, which I have loaded in the instrument slot. But before these notes get to Diva, the MIDI first goes to this LFO tool called Modulator, which is then controlling the Note Repeater plugin below it to transpose the note repeats up an octave every couple of bars. Then these transform MIDI events are finally sent to Diva. I have a lot of these types of plugins. Let me know in the comments below if there's one in particular you want me to demonstrate, because chances are I probably have it. These types of plugins are a lot of fun, and they allow me to create random sequences that I would never come up with on my own. But if the sequence is always random, it will never be repeated, and maybe that's the goal sometimes. But usually, we use these plugins like Harmony Bloom, hoping to stumble upon a happy accident that we want to preserve and record. The problem is, when trying to record or export the MIDI, a lot of these plugins, including Harmony Bloom, get out of sync with Logic Pro and the sequence you are left with doesn't play back correctly or in time. You can skip ahead if you are already familiar with Harmony Bloom, but if you are new to Harmony Bloom, I want to show you all of its randomization features that will allow you to create incredible sequences. Almost every parameter can be randomized by clicking on the little dice icon next to it. For example, this one randomizes the number of notes. This one does the same for the note duration, and this one randomizes the length of the sequence before it starts over again. The big dice in the middle randomizes almost everything at the same time, including the number of trigger bars. So let's say I'm looking for a good bass line to go with my drums and keys here. I'll just keep clicking the big dice until something sounds good. And maybe I'll tweak it a little bit after that to get it closer to what I want. There's one more little dice that's kind of hidden, right here. What this does is randomizes the notes in the sequence to be turned on or off. First, 
you select all the notes by clicking and dragging over them, and then click the dice. You can see how some of the notes have become empty circles, indicating that they are turned off. When they pass through a trigger bar, they will be muted. The regular or filled in circles will still continue to be audible like normal when they pass through a trigger bar. Once you have found your happy accident, it stops being random. Harmony Bloom will just play the same sequence over and over again. But there are two things you can do to make this sequence truly random and never repeat itself. The first is to adjust the probability parameter. For example, if I set it to 50%, that means each note has only a 50% probability of actually sounding. The more notes you have in your sequence and the lower you set the probability, the more random your sequence will sound. And since this will just go on like this forever, you will probably never hear the same sequence twice. But there's one more thing we can do to make our sequence constantly and randomly change, which is to randomize the octave of each note each time it's triggered. You do this by clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner. The highlighted numbers correspond to the trigger bars that are active. Next to these numbers is the MIDI output channel. Click the link to watch my other video on how to route multi-channel MIDI output from Harmony Bloom and into Logic Pro, which basically allows you to assign each trigger bar to a different instrument. Next to that is the octave parameter, and if you click on this little toggle icon, the notes will randomly be transposed between one and two octaves below or above the original note when it's triggered. Okay. So you have found something special in Harmony Bloom, and you want to preserve that by exporting the MIDI into Logic Pro. Harmony Bloom comes with a nice drag and drop MIDI export feature, but there are synchronization problems between Harmony Bloom and Logic Pro that might be driving you crazy. Here I have Harmony Bloom loaded in the MIDI effects slot, and I have selected the link to DAW option, which will tell Harmony Bloom to start and stop playing its sequence whenever I hit play and stop in Logic Pro. So this is a simple C chromatic scale playing in quarter notes from C3 to D sharp 3 over four bars. Let's turn on the metronome to make sure everything is in sync when I hit play. Yep, everything sounds good and right on tempo. But maybe your song has a chord progression and you need your sequence to change key each time the chord in your song changes. Well, you can do that in Harmony Bloom by selecting this little keyboard icon at the bottom. Now Harmony Bloom will transpose the sequence to stay in key whenever you play a note on your keyboard or any notes you have recorded in your track. So I've created a MIDI region with four whole notes over these four bars. Let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, Harmony Bloom transposed the sequence correctly, but you can hear all these weird note doubling issues. Let's take a look at another example. This time we're going to use the MIDI export feature of Harmony Bloom to get the MIDI out and into Logic Pro. First, you need to make sure you click this button at the bottom that says MIDI Capture Off. Click this so that it says Play DAW to Capture MIDI so that Harmony Bloom records all of the MIDI information to its internal clipboard. Now, simply click the little hand icon and drag and drop the MIDI sequence into Logic Pro's track editor. Let's take a look at this data. We are missing the first note in the sequence, and all the notes are recorded slightly before the beat. Both of these errors are due to the same MIDI sync problem between Harmony Bloom and Logic Pro. There are two solutions to this synchronization problem. The first method I'm going to show you was introduced in Logic Pro 10.7.5, so if you haven't updated to Logic Pro 11 yet, this is really the only option you have. 
and even if you have updated to Logic Pro 11, this is still the easiest option in most cases. Okay, so how we do this is move your mouse over to the right side of your MIDI Effects plugin, and then click on the little arrows, open up the pop up menu, then go down to where it says Record MIDI to Track Here at the bottom. Select that. And now you see these two tiny yellow arrows beneath the plugin insert. This indicates where the MIDI will be recorded. All we have to do now is record arm our track and hit record. And there you go. All the MIDI output from Harmony Bloom is there and perfectly in sync with the tempo. Now let's take a look at the second method, which is only available in Logic Pro 11. This method utilizes the new internal MIDI in feature, which you can find in the track inspector window right here. What we are going to do is route the MIDI output from Harmony Bloom on one track to an instrument on another track and then record its output. I've made two empty software instrument tracks. I have Harmony Bloom loaded in the MIDI effect slot on the first one. Now to do this, you cannot leave the instrument slot empty. Go to Utility and select External Instrument. You can just leave all the parameters at their default values and then close the window. The nice thing about using External Instrument here is that it will not produce any audio output. You can use another instrument if you like, but you will need to mute the track because it will produce an audio signal, plus it just consumes more CPU. Now go to the second track and load whatever instrument you want. Next, find the internal MIDI in option in the track inspector window. Click there, and under instrument input, select the track with Harmony Bloom. There it is, external instrument. So all we need to do now is record arm our track and press record. And again, I've recorded the MIDI output from Harmony Bloom. It's perfectly in sync and without any missing notes or double notes or any other problems. Now there is one thing that will trip you up here. A lot of us use the count in metronome feature when we are recording, but Harmony Bloom ignores the count in and will just start its sequence the instant you press play in Logic Pro. Watch what happens if you leave the count in turned on. So you will just need to turn the count in feature off before using either of these two methods. I hope you found this video helpful. I love these types of plugins, but the sync issues were driving me crazy. Method 1 is probably the way to go most of the time. But method 2 is great if you are routing a single instance of Harmony Bloom to multiple different tracks and need to record different parts of the sequence to different instruments. Again, watch my other video on multi-output routing in Harmony Bloom if you need to do this. Also, let me know if you like this video, or if you would like to see me do other videos about MIDI effects plugins in Logic Pro. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.